Board of Judge, Commissioners, I'm John Wirtz. I live in the Auburn Bridge, Precinct 2, and I'm the chair of Precinct 69, the Republican Party. Gentlemen, or at least those who are pushing this 249 toll road, I did a public information request under FOIA through the attorney's, county attorney's office on January 10th of this year. I also executed another PIR under FOIA at the last commissioner's court meeting, this time addressing it to Judge Doyle. In it, I asked specifically for the agenda item to initiate this toll road, any discussion pertinent to it, and finally, any related minutes. Guess what? There was nothing, again, that pertained specifically to my PIR. The county attorney's office, uh, Mr. John McKinney over here, who has worked uh, diligently uh, with me and for me, um, didn't have any record whatsoever for moving forward with this 249 project. Mind you, I'm not referring to any agreements with Tax Dot or Harris County moving forward. I'm talking about this very court and public discourse before any of those things took place. Yet in the face of that, several of you up here are going to defy the will of, one, the governor and lieutenant governor who said no to more toll roads, two, plank 211 of the state Republican Party that says no more toll roads, and remove the tolls when the feast like Highway 242, three, the Montgomery County Republican Party, which voted 34 to one to move a toll road referendum to the state county executive committee that later became Prop 2 on the statewide ballot. It passed with 90% of the vote, both locally and statewide, as voters said, we want to have a say on any new toll roads, including 249. Yet you continue to ignore the people. Four, in fact, all Republican precinct chair and Mr. Riley's precinct along 249 voted for the referendum to have our say. Number 13, 18, 28, 30, and 74. <coughs> This doesn't count the rest of the chairs in Precinct 2 who all voted to have Proposition 2 on the ballot. Interestingly, the only now currently serving Precinct Chair who was against it was Mr. Riley's former campaign manager who runs a construction company in his hometown. Just saying. What's amazing is that the people for it don't care the cost and not even worried about having to pay tolls. I believe that's a very small majority that has come to speak for it on occasion. And finally, the coup de grace. The claim that this stretch of road is going to be paid off in 10 years after it opens in 2019 is laughable. From all those commuter, commuters from Grimes County passing through, is that where we're going to get that paid off? I believe our current DA, Britt Liggins, summed up. Your time is exceeding. I appreciate your coming. Thank you.